Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1781, the planet Uranus is first seen by human eyes. In 1790, John Martin performs in Philadelphia. He was the first American-born actor. In 1845, Felix Mendelssohn's Opus 64 Violin Concerto premieres. I bet if you heard it, you would recognize it immediately. In 1852, the Uncle Sam cartoon figure makes its debut in the New York Lantern Weekly. In 1862, the U.S. federal government forbids all Union Army officers from returning fugitive slaves, effectively annulling the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850. In 1865, Confederate President Jefferson Davis signs a bill authorizing the use of slaves as soldiers during the U.S. Civil War. In 1868, the Senate begins U.S. President Andrew Johnson's impeachment trial. In 1869, the Arkansas legislature passes an anti-Ku Klux Klan law. In 1877, American Chester Greenwood patents the earmuffs he invented at age 15. In 1878, Oxford University defeats Cambridge University in their first golf match. In 1881, Tsar Alexander II of Russia was assassinated in St. Petersburg by members of the far-left terror group People's Will. In 1884, the United States adopts Standard Time. In 1897, San Diego State University is founded. In 1900, in France, the length of the working day for women and children is now limited by law to 11 hours. In 1905, Mata Hari performs her dance act in Paris for the first time. Oh, and she was also a German spy. In 1913, the Kansas State Legislature approves the censorship of motion pictures. In 1915, Dodgers manager Wilbert Robinson tries to catch a baseball dropped from an airplane, but the pilot substituted a grapefruit. In 1918, Leon Trotsky gains control of the Russian Red Army. Also in 1918, at the first NHL championship, the Toronto Arenas beat the Montreal Canadiens. In 1923, American inventor Lee DeForest demonstrates his sound on film moving pictures in New York City. In 1925, the Tennessee legislature banned the teaching of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution in the state's public schools. In 1930, the news of the discovery of Pluto is telegraphed to the Harvard College Observatory. In 1933, Joseph Goebbels becomes Nazi Germany's Minister of Information and Propaganda. In 1935, automobile driving tests are introduced in Great Britain. In 1938, the World News Roundup program is broadcast for the first time on CBS radio in the United States. In 1939, American singer-songwriter Neil Sedaka is born. In 1942, Julia Flicke of the Nurse Corps becomes the first woman colonel in the U.S. Army. In 1943, German troops liquidate the Jewish ghetto in Krakow. Apparently, the scene in Schindler's List is an accurate recreation of what occurred. Also in 1943, baseball approves the official ball. In 1947, Brigadoon opens at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York City for 501 performances. In 1951, Israel demands 6.2 billion Deutschmarks in compensation from Germany for the atrocities of World War II. In 1960, the NFL's Chicago Cardinals move to St. Louis, Missouri. Also in 1960, the White Sox unveil new road uniforms with players' names above the number on the back. In 1964, American Kitty Genovese is murdered in view of her neighbors who did nothing to help her, which prompts research into what is known as the bystander effect. In 1965, The Beatles' Eight Days a Week hits number one and stays for two weeks. Also in 1965, British guitar phenomenon Eric Clapton quits the Yardbirds due to the band moving away from traditional blues. Jeff Beck becomes his replacement. In 1968, the Beatles release Lady Madonna. Also in 1968, a nerve gas accident at Skull Valley, Utah kills 6,000 sheep. In 1972, at the 7th Academy of Country Music Awards, Freddie Hart and Loretta Lynn win. 
In 1973, Irene opens at the Minskoff Theater in New York City for 605 performances. This also happens to be the night the Minskoff opens for the first time. In 1975, the stage comedy, same time next year, starring Ellen Bernstein and Charles Grodin, opens and runs for a total of 1,453 performances in New York City. In 1980, the Ford Motor Company is found innocent in the death of three women in a fiery Pinto crash. Also in 1980, American serial killer John Wayne Gacy receives the death sentence in Illinois for the murder of 12 people. In 1982, the ABC TV crime drama T.J. Hooker, starring William Shatner, premieres. In 1986, two Soviet cosmonauts blasted off aboard a Soyuz spacecraft to rendezvous with the space station Mir and become its first occupants. Also in 1986, at the 12th People's Choice Awards, Sylvester Stallone and Meryl Streep win for motion picture, and Bill Cosby and Linda Evans win for TV. In 1986 as well, Microsoft has its initial public offering. In 1987, the boss of the Gambino crime family, John Gotti, is acquitted of racketeering. In 1988, the Seikan Tunnel opens in Japan. It is the longest undersea tunnel in the world. Also in 1988, at the 14th People's Choice Awards, Michael Douglas and Glenn Close win for motion picture, and Bill Cosby and Sybil Shepard win for TV. In 1989, the Space Shuttle Discovery is launched. This is the first time a woman does the countdown. In 1991, Exxon agrees to pay $1 billion for the cleanup of the Exxon Valdez oil spill in Alaska. In 1992, a 6.8 earthquake kills over 500 people in eastern Turkey. In 1996, a gunman invaded a primary school in Scotland and killed 16 young children and their teacher before turning the gun on himself. In 1997, unidentified lights appear over Phoenix, Arizona. Also in 1997, India's Missionaries of Charity chooses Sister Nirmala to secede Mother Teresa as its leader. In 2003, the journal Nature reports that 350,000-year-old footprints of an upright walking human have been found in Italy. In 2004, Luciano Pavarotti performs his last opera. It was the New York Metropolitan Opera's production of Tosca. In 2006, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Black Sabbath, Blondie, Miles Davis, Leonard Skinner, The Sex Pistols, Herb Albert, and Jerry Moss. In 2012, Encyclopedia Britannica announces that it was ceasing publication of its print version. Also in 2012, 110 people are killed and 63 went missing after a ferry collides with an oil tanker in Bangladesh. In 2012 as well, 28 people, including 22 children, are killed in a bus crash in Switzerland. In 2013, Cardinal Jorge Mario Bergoglio is elected the new pope, taking the papal name Pope Francis. In 2014, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, premieres in Los Angeles. In 2018, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is fired via a tweet from President Donald Trump. In 2019, home of civil rights activists Medgar and Murley Evers is established as a national monument in Jackson, Mississippi by U.S. President Donald Trump. In 2020, African-American EMT Breonna Taylor was killed by Louisville, Kentucky police officers when they burst into her apartment during a botched raid. Also in 2020, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates steps down from the company's board to focus on philanthropic activities. He can philanthropic some of that money my way. And lastly, in 2021, American boxer Marvin Hagler passes away today. That was today's episode. I hope you watch many, many more. I put some in front of you, and I look forward to you subscribing to my channel.